Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm here with... Hi, I'm Skylar Abajowdy and I'm playing Layla in the new season of Chicken Girls. Yes, I got to work with this amazing girl on the new season of Chicken Girls and obviously you guys know me from that show. So, what's up all my Chicken Girls fans? We are here with one of the new castmates and I'm excited to talk about her experience on set because I feel like our characters and maybe even us had a similar time. So, mm -hmm. I'm very excited to get into it and spill For all sure. the drama and all the tea. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so tell me about your character Layla in the show. So Layla, she's this very like laid back. I, I'd like to say she's pretty unproblematic, but um, she's very laid back. She hangs with the boys. She's not necessarily a confusing character, but like, you know, she's just trying to figure herself out. Like it's middle school. Everybody goes through that stage in middle school. And you know, you just get to watch Layla go through that right now. Very reminiscent of Rudy. Like she was super mm -hmm. like chill and laid back. I'm not gonna say that she was unproblematic. Yeah. She wasn't necessarily problematic, but she definitely yeah. had some yeah. things to say about some things. So yeah, she's very chill, very laid back, but I, I described it the same way. It's not mm -hmm. like she was confusing because it was just kind of like the stage in her life where she was like yeah. figuring herself out. So yeah, I like that her characters were very the same in that way. Yeah, that was cool. kind of cool. Cause I, when I watched Chicken Girls, like when I booked this, I went back and I rewatched all the seasons cause I watched it when I was younger. <laughs> and it was just like cool. Cause I was like, you know, my Layla character is like this Rooney character. Yeah, our characters mm -hmm. are very similar. I like to refer to you as baby Rooney. I like it, I do it. You're my mama Rooney. <laughs> What do you as Skylar have in common with your character as Layla? If I'm gonna be honest, not too much. Like, I feel like we're very different people, but that's why it's fun. Because mm -hmm. like when you're acting- You get like, to be a new person. Yeah, like that's why it's fun. Cause you get to like be in situations you wouldn't normally be in, mm -hmm. or you get to live through other people's experiences. It's really cool. Which is like what I act for. So um, I guess the only thing I can really say is like, she hangs with the boys and she's very into sports and I have two brothers and they're both football players. <laughs> so I was kind of raised sim similarly. Yeah, very like was... with the boys, not really caring. Yeah, yeah I carefree. Get that. I think, yeah, that's really, really cool. I was like, when I got the chance to like work with you and like mm -hmm. see your character, I was like, oh, this is like really, really cool to kind of watch like, cause I started the show, how old are you? I'm gonna be 15 in a couple months. So I started the show about the same age as you. Like I was like 14, oh, I might've been 13. 13. I was really? 13. Yeah, I was 13 when I started oh my, the show. Okay. And so I just turned 18. So it was like really cool to like see. It's literally like me back in time just watching because we were all like 13, 12, 14, mm -hmm. like on the show when we first started. And it's like really cool to see you guys like do the same things and trying to figure out like, oh, is my character like me or not? And like at the beginning, my character was nothing like me. Really? It was like playing a completely new person. But as you, as time goes on and if there's more seasons or whatever and you develop with your character, it's like really cool to like intertwine the two and bring parts wow, of you into okay. it. So yeah, it's really cool. You'll get there though. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll, we'll get there. So like Rooney, your character, Layla, has to be open with her friends about who she really is. Do you think that was difficult for you to portray, especially at a younger age or mm -hmm. in general? I kind of tried to live through a lot of my friends' experiences because I know a lot of my friends went through that. Like middle school is the age where stuff like like that happened. Yeah, middle school beating a high school, definitely. Yes, it's always like kind of at that like teenager age. And I just kind of had to live through their experience like um, and what they went through. And like, I know like they were confused. Like I had some friends that would like, you know, hop around and each week they thought they were something different. Yeah, they, they were like, oh, something maybe new. I'm not, oh, uh, uh. Yeah, they yeah. were confused and it was just really hard for me. Like to just sit there and watch them go through that because like yeah. it's not something I can necessarily help them with. They have to figure it out themselves. Yeah. But like I definitely kept a lot of my friends in mind when I was portraying Layla. That's really cool. I really like that. Yeah, I kind mm -hmm. of I went through the same thing. It was just about like obviously the LGBTQ community is something that was super prominent in my character and now of course, yours. Yeah. Just, and it's like really important. When they told me that they were bringing in like a young, almost like a younger version of my character, <laughs> I was so excited because once, you know, the older kids kind of came off the show. We're not in season seven as much as we yeah, are. Um, I was like, oh no, what if they don't have like another 
bisexual character or a character that's representative of the LGBTQ plus, like Q plus community, I was like, oh no, what are we gonna do? And when they told me about it, I literally was like, so excited. I was like, That's yes, great. I'm so excited. Like, because it meant so much to so many people. And like, I don't even think you know how much it's gonna mean because you haven't really, I mean, it's only four episodes in, yeah. but it means so much to these younger kids to see a representative of their own community because it's not something that's super prominent in TV yet and TV and film, especially in maybe younger shows, it's not super prominent, especially like to see them actually come out. It's like maybe maybe it's hinted here and there and maybe people can have their suspicions. Of but I course. think it's really, really cool that they did that and they continued it and yeah. It's yeah. cool. It's a really, really cool character. So Yeah, I fully support support the community mm -hmm. and so when I found out I was gonna be playing um, a character part of the LGBTQ plus community, I honestly was kind of excited because I know like a lot of my friends, they get so excited when they see yeah. representation, and it just made me it's really important. happy to know that I could be making others feel better mm -hmm. about themselves just by playing this one character. I think it's as important as just like, you know, how there there needs to be diversity between course, races and religions yeah. and stuff on TV. I think it's the same with sexuality. There needs to be, you know, diversity, and people want to be able to watch their favorite shows and be like, oh, I can relate to a couple and not just have to picture myself as something else, or I, I just watch this and go, I can't relate, but it's a cool show. It's like they can genuinely course, watch yeah. this and begin to relate to a show because, you know, we're a part of it, and I think it's really cool. And I definitely wanted to make sure I was portraying it right and respectfully and everything, and my brother's a part of the community, so, like, I spoke to him about it, and I was like, how was it for you when you, like, came out to people? Because Rooney also had her coming out episode yeah. to her sister. I remember that. Yeah, so. But yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So I know it's kind of early to be asking you this, <laughs> but um, one thing that was super, super, not weird, but maybe something that I had to get used to with fans started to believe that I was Rooney and oh. like I was my character. Like they'd be like, oh, like if I ever like posted a photo or something, they'd be like, oh, did you take this on your film camera? And it's like, I have, n I don't know. No. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I mean, I recently, I got into film. That's what I'm saying. You'll That's become, good though. You'll yeah. become like your character a little bit. Like I started to get into film purely because of Rooney and my character. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, let me get into let it. So this. I got into film photography because of my character. So what's up, Rooney? Thanks, girl. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, do fans like ever think that you are your character and be like, oh, why are you, don't you have beef with this person on the show? Or why are you, da -da 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 -da? do they ever like think that? Are you there yet in that point? Already, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was getting attacked today. Um, okay. <laughs> they just posted a scene where like, I rejected Enzo, um, who plays PK in the show. And I have been getting a lot of comments today and people are like, why would you reject him? Like, you're so mean. And I'm like, I didn't reject him. Layla rejected Layla him. Layla rejected yeah, him. Yeah. I and also, I would like to point out that like, I had a date to the pep rally with Jordan, which is T. That's kind of part of Layla figuring herself out. And um, yeah, a lot of people are like, they'll see me and they're like, you know, you look so different on Chicken Girls, which I don't really think I do. Maybe I don't really think it. you guys do it. All. You do it all. I think you look the same on Chicken Girls. I, I don't know. Like look wise, look wise, yeah. I mean your I style's a little bit. I mean no, it's a little bit the same. It's slightly. It's like a little bit, but then I'm like edgy kind of or skater. You're you're a little bit more on like the skater girl vibe, and yeah. you're a little bit more on like the alternative side. On, yeah, in real I life. prefer more like street style. I feel like um, Lila's definitely more skater girl, and also like. Um, she's very, um, she likes very simplistic stuff. Like in the show, she wears absolutely like no makeup. I'm, I just like to put on some eyeliner. Like I think it looks. We're kind of like, we both like do like the little the cat eye. The cat eye thing. Like, Love it. It's, it's so, so cute. Nice. And we kind of have the same nails I right know. now. Oh, look at that. It's like it's me growing up. She has better hair than me, but it's like me growing up. Oh my gosh. I love your hair with the red streaks. Thank you. I'm. Thinking of like redo, like making it darker, but I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We'll see. I, I gotta know. talk to her and makeup because I'm starting a new show. Speaking of starting oh. a new show, I don't know if I can talk about that. I'm doing. I'm working on a little little Projects. something something. <laughs> We're gonna little something something. And I was in the fitting room, and they gave me one of the shirts that you wore, and I was like, wait. And she really? was like, yeah. It was like, the, you wore it underneath something. It was like the black long sleeve. Oh yeah, it's like, I, I, that. Yeah, that yeah. thing. I was like, okay, oh, sure it is. So, I don't know, I thought that was cute. Yeah, but. also like a lot of people have, have already guessed Layla's sexuality, which yeah. is very, I think I thought it was obvious. Like, yeah. me watching it back, I thought it was obvious. So I was kind of surprised that some people didn't get the hint. Yeah, I but. mean, 
people started to guess like between, so once Stephanie was introduced to the show and like they could tell like our flirtatious nature maybe wasn't just a best friend thing, people mm -hmm. started to get the hint of it and they were like, but no, 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 but she, cause I'd previously been in a relationship with boys and like I'd had a boyfriend and at the time when Stephanie got introduced, I had a boyfriend and yeah. everyone was like, no, but like the chemistry, that's not a best thing. That's not a best friend thing. It's like, it's really cool to see them like work it work out. It out. And yeah. obviously your character just came out to Harmony. So it became very obvious mm -hmm. now, obviously, but like before, because I had had three seasons of, you know, being in a straight relationship, like I was with a boy. Mm -hmm. um, it was like really cool to like see them, the fans like figure it out. They're like, wait, but this is, They've got chemistry and it's Trying not just like a best friend up. thing. I promise you it's not. And then when she finally came out and then announced she was with Stephanie, everybody was like, I knew it, I knew it. And it was like really cool to like see them figure it out. See it them really cool. figure it out. Yeah, I like it a lot, but yeah. yeah. So a lot of comments have been like, oh, like your character is part of the community. So yeah. then you are. And yeah, like, yeah. People, that's not really the way it works. Yeah, but, but you're, we're, it's cool to like be, we're definitely it's like really allies cool. of the community. Of and it's like really cool. And I think yeah. even like since Rooney, she's like, opened me up a lot to like different things and like I've you know made sure to attend every single pride rally I've been able oh, yeah, to since. Oh yeah, of course. Me I mean I, there was festivals and parades but obviously due to COVID, COVID we couldn't but there was like a little online Zoom kind of rally, a Zoom. Really? I like a Zoom parade. It was really cool to like kind of join that but. Honestly it kind of makes me really happy that I get to be portraying a character part of the LGBTQ community because mm -hmm. um, one of my bestest friends actually just kind of came out as bi. Mm -hmm. So like I heard that and I just know she's going to be kind of excited. Yeah, she would be super out. excited to like, yeah, I yeah. think it's important. A lot of my friends were like, thank you. Very I get to watch this show and like I'm not an actor, but like I think you're portraying it amazingly and really respectfully mm -hmm. and I love being able to watch it and be like, that's me as a character. Yeah, so. that's awesome. That's kind of why I took the role too. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's amazing. I like it. And it's really important to a lot of people. Totally. What is something you think you've learned through playing Layla? Um, honestly, I feel like I've learned a lot um, like acting wise and just like the way I can handle situations. Like Layla will just stand up for what's right. Mm -hmm. Like if something's not sitting right with her, or some people aren't sitting right with her, she will just d disassociate them from her life. Mm -hmm. But just in a casual way, in mm -hmm. a friendly way. Just kind of like, you're there, but I'm, I'm like kind of cutting you off, but not yeah. in a, but not, you know. Not, yeah. You yeah. maybe put a gate up to the bridge, so you don't burn it. She's just always gonna be there for her friends. And you know, if she doesn't feel like her friends are doing the right thing, you know, she's not afraid to take a stand for it, which has really taught me a lot about real life and the way I can handle situations like yeah. that. I think it's really important, yeah. Yeah, it's of cool. course. I like that. So what do you think the best part about playing Layla was? I really liked how friendly she was with everybody. Like, I feel like she got along with everybody, which was very fun to play because mm -hmm. I got, I'm really close with all the boys and then like, I'm really close with a lot of other characters in the show. So it was just really fun because I got to hang out with- With like both sides? everybody. That's really cool. Th throughout the whole show. And then um, it's like the first like lead role I've ever had. So like, I feel some sort of attachment to Layla. Oh, I have the in biggest attachment heart. to Rooney. Yeah. I have the biggest <laughs> attachment to Rooney. I like, can imagine. Oh, it's, su it's super important. Like Rooney mm. is super important to me. Like she gave me the start of pretty much like my career. Like when I first started at Brad, I think I had like 2000 followers or something. Really? Yeah, I had like 2000 followers. I literally like, you know what I mean? Like I wow. really wasn't anyone or had anything going for me. And like, I have the biggest attachment to Rooney and like all the girls um, for one of like the Christmases on like season one or season two, I got all the girls, their names on like a silver necklace. Aww. So I've got a Rooney one, um, Birdie's got Birdie, Riley's got like Quinn, yeah. Birdie's got Birdie, That's Mads has got Birdie, so but like we cute. all have like matching little necklaces. That's amazing because I feel like you have really built like oh we built a we're brand like, out of yourself and it's yeah. just awesome that it came from this show. We built like a super one yeah we built a brand we built a career but we also built like the biggest friendships between us all like yeah I literally have watched Haley grow up like I watched her That's grow crazy. up I like I just saw her today and she's like all rocking like these low rise jeans this cute little I tank know. and I was like. She had the cutest fit. I was like, who are you? I remember like when you were still like wearing justice clothes. Like it's just <laughs> weird for me to like see them all like grown up now. And I don't know, it's just like, it's crazy to me. Like my head's mm. still kind of like trying to wrap around it and stuff like that. But I think it's really cute. It, it definitely is. And I feel like it's going to be kind of fun because I might get to watch myself grow up at oh, least yeah. a little. I've I really just hope. over the past Seasons. Yeah, of course, but um, it's really cool. Like Riley is like one of my like she's my sister on the show, my stepsister. Yeah. But she's like honestly like family to me in real That's life. Like amazing. she's staying with me. She's been staying with me for like a few days now. Really? But, like she's staying with me for like a week. Like she just comes up all the time, and she's like Aww. she has a key to my house now, and she's just like 
sup india i said you're here and she's like yeah dude and like she's gonna goes, walk she's in. Just, i didn't even know she was in my house yesterday and i didn't even know it and i kept thinking i heard something and i was like what is that i don't know i and would I was be like, terrified and she said the same she, she thought she heard something and she was like dude i thought i heard something but i didn't know and i was like well yeah it's my house <laughs> riley of course i'm in my house and she goes well i didn't know that was said well i didn't know you were here and i literally just walk into my guest room and she's there and she goes so dude and i Saw was like dude. ah you're you're saying it she goes yeah and here I'm it like, goes ah. sick <laughs> it's so cute i love it so how do you think you got into acting and maybe where do you get your inspiration from either for your character layla or just acting in general so like i got into acting I actually got discovered at the mall. I was literally wearing rags. Really? I hadn't showered in days. My mom threw her back out and she was like, there's a big sale at Saks Fifth Avenue and I'm, you're coming with me. Hell yeah. So I just threw on like some rags. They literally had paint stains on them. And like I hadn't showered in probably a week cause I'm just, gr I was gross like that. when I was How old were you? <laughs> I think I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do the same thing. Yes. I wore the same outfit. Like when I was like 10, 11, 12, mm -hmm. I used to wear the same outfit every day of the same. week. Same, It yes. was like these jeggings, a Marvel tank top, my hair would go in a ponytail, and I mm -hmm. promise you, I'd fake showers. I just did not care about showers. I, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I didn't think it was that big of a deal at Please all. Please shower. Please shower. But I used <laughs> to just spritz myself with some perfume or some deodorant, and I'd mm -hmm. call it a day. I'd do this stuff where my, I'd literally turn the shower on for like two seconds, and I'd be like, just sitting there, oh my gosh, same. See, I'd sit there and same. I'd be like, cool, that seems <laughs> legit. <laughs> just took a shower. A uh, shower, anyway, continue. So, I don't know, I just got discovered there and then I got into modeling first and then I got referred to commercials and then I got referred into theatrical. And like, um, I think I've only been doing theatrical for about like two years. Oh, cool. So, I don't know, it was just really exciting getting this role because I had worked so hard for it. Like, wow. I bet you know what it's like. like. Yeah, I definitely do. You really yeah. want it, you keep getting really far, and then you just don't then get it. Then you don't get like, it? Oh, yeah, uh, I've been down to, for some really big movies or TV shows, mm -hmm. I've been down to producers or directors or networks or whatever, and it's like down to me and another girl, and it is heartbreaking when you don't get it, but of you course. work so hard and you just work on your craft and you work on your craft and you know, you're 15, so I was probably, so you've been doing it since what, you're 13? Yeah, I think so. So I've been doing it about, like I was about 12, 13 when I got into like theatrical stuff. Like mm -hmm. I'd been acting, but like when I really got into it and started auditioning and doing that stuff, I was about the same age as you. And so now I've been doing it for, well, I'm 18. So That's amazing. <laughs> a bit, but like it, it's, so amazing. I love it. I love the audition yeah. process. I love it's just, acting. It's my favorite thing. It's so fun and th it's just such a supportive community and it's really different like when you meet people in the acting business. They just get it. They just get they everything. Get like I'm still friends of course like with anybody from school but mm -hmm. like it's just so nice to like have meet people through the acting community because like you know they've been through it like they can help you out and it's just Mm -hmm. It's just such a great community and I do it because I really enjoy it. Do like you it. think maybe, so do, you're, are you in actual school or online school? Right now I'm doing online because school, of, but is that because I go of COVID? to public. So you go to public yeah. normal school, but you're yeah. online because of COVID reasons right now, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Do you think that your maybe friendships and like all that started to change yet? Has that ever, has that started yet? It, it happens. I feel like it, it was bound to happen. It's just kind of like some people just kind of, we'd get upset. I couldn't hang out because of acting and like. Really, they get upset, yeah. that? that's funny. And like, I couldn't really be a part of stuff. So then like, I don't know. I feel like people just kind of started distancing, but this isn't all my friends. Like a lot of my friends are really supportive and you know, I love them to death. It's just some people. It's just some people yeah. just, you know, can't deal with the fact that like mm -hmm. they're, I don't have uh, all the time in the world for them. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> yeah, I get that. But I think like when I like, it's it's interesting because like I was in normal school and then I booked Brad mm -hmm. and I was working too many days of the week to, oh, no, huh? to go to normal school. So I ended yeah. up having to switch to online and then I graduated early. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm interested to see if you can you can juggle public school with doing this because it is a uh, lot. But good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> good luck. Just like, have fun. Just make sure you do your work. It's super important. School oh, of is course. super freaking important, and like I preach that to everyone. And I know also if you can stay in normal school. I mean, I know COVID is forcing you to be online anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, right now. But if you can stay in regular schooling and like finish it, best decision of your life. Online schooling sucks. I know, I can it imagine. Sucks. <sighs> Do not. If you can stay in normal school, it is the biggest blessing and like you want to be able to have those experiences like homecoming, prom, like being asked to prom just 
school is such an important thing and I really wish I was able to get some of those normal experiences. And I think that's one of my biggest advice to any like younger people that are getting into the industry or getting into this world is like stay in school because you will want those experiences when you grow that up. And I'm so saying. sad that I never got them. I mean, I was dating a guy that went to normal school and so I was able to oh, go to his homecoming okay, and his well, prom. Great. So that was really cool. But I still like really wish I got to go to like pep rallies and school games and yeah. stuff like that. So stay as long as you can. <laughs> yeah, I definitely will. I mean, school comes first for us, and unless I book something, we're like, I'm out. Unless every it's like day. you know a huge yeah. movie or a huge series, and you literally have no other option. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. Because for this, we filmed like most of it in the summer, so then like it was just like coming back here to film. It wasn't too bad or yeah, too you, much of a plus problem. Plus, it's online. You're on. We're all online. Yeah, right it's now online anyway, right so it wasn't. It was fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to go follow Skylar on all of her socials, which will be linked down below. But here is her pop tag because that's what we do on this channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you guys want to see any other Chicken Girls members on my channel talking about their experience, then make sure to comment down below who. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!